I am Father Simon Lau. In today's Gospel, Jesus begins with asking us to not be afraid. He asks us to trust God totally. Some said the word do not be afraid appeared in the Bible 365 times, which means every day God tells us to not be afraid. St. Paul's in today's second reading tells us that sins came into this world by one man. And because of sin, we afraid. And this fear threatened us in our life. When Adam and Eve, after eating the fruit from the tree of knowledge, their eyes were opened and fear filled their hearts. So they hid themselves they do not want to see God. They are afraid to see God. And they experience the insecure that never had before. This is why most of the time we also feel insecure. We hide ourselves. We cover up ourselves. We do not want people to know our true self because we do not trust anymore. And Jesus said, all are hidden will be brought to light. Before God, we have nothing to hide. We like to pretend. We like to hide our inner self, our inner world. There are many people very sensitive to let people know their real age. Not only the elders, but for those, the young one now also very cautious to let people know their age. Sometimes we filled with so much anxiety and worries because we do not trust ourselves, we do not trust others, and we do not trust God. How we post our photos on Facebook and Instagram tells us how much we hide ourselves. We just show people something not true. And why? Why we have such a need to do that? And why we wait for people affirmation? Why are we waiting people to like our posting? We are so afraid of how people judge us, how people see us. We do not want people to judge us. However, we like to judge others. Because of our fear, because of our insecure, we like to judge others. We like to point people forward. We like to gossip. Whenever we talk bad about others, we think this might able to cover up ourselves and make myself look better, feel better. And Jesus said, do not judge. How you judge others, you will be judged in the same way. For instance, sometimes we are so affected by how people wear during Mass, what attire they dress, and end out, we are not paying attention during Mass. Another example, sometimes we are so affected by also other people's children behave in the church. Maybe their children cannot sit quietly, maybe their children making some noise, but they are still young, they are still small. This is part and parcel of our growing process. While we are complaining about others' children, let us think about our children. Whether my children still come to church or they already left the church, it is always easier to point people forward than to look at our own issues. We all are struggle of these one way or another. When the Pharisees brought the adulteries to Jesus, they asked Jesus what should they do. And Jesus answered them, If among you who do not have sinned, you may cast the first stone. And then from the elders to the youngest, one by one they left. Before God, we all are sinners. We all need His mercy. Do not think that you are better than others. Do not think that you are more holy than others. 
sometimes these people they just do not able to cover up themselves as good as you we always like to pretend okay i'm okay i have no problem jesus know who you are jesus knows everything stop covering yourself allow jesus to enter into your life allow him to do miracle in your life allow him to heal your wounds allow him to visit your brokenness allow jesus to embrace you allow his love to fill all your rejection very often we do not want to be put as a highlight for instance there are many people not willing to lead the prayer during our gathering because we do not know how people see us we do not want people to judge us jesus said do not afraid that the things that only can kill your body but cannot kill your soul but rather afraid of those can put your soul and body together into hell and what are they they are all the tricks of the devil they are all the lies that the devil tells us the devil tells us we are not loved we are not worthy we are not able to do all these and the devil always asks you to look at yourself he likes to twist god's word do you always anxious do you always worry are you afraid of many things in life could you sleep well at night you need to trust god not keep looking at yourself do not manage your life by yourself he is asking you to trust him and he will do marvelous things in your life faith hope and love faith is trust the more we trust the more we have hope and the hope will lead us to love if we do not trust god it will lead us to fear and fear make us anxious make us insecure and all these will lead us to hopeless and despair therefore today many people suffer from depression slowly we will hear a lot of voices and all these voices are lies all these will slowly lead us to anger hatred and unforgiveness and we can see how all these against faith hope and love fear against faith despair against hope and hatred against love brothers and sisters it is important to put our trust in god it is important that we have to start believing that he can save us not only here but our whole being our whole self stop hiding yourself stop running away just as god couldn't find adam and eve in the garden because they hid themselves and god asked where are you where are you now god is looking for you he is looking for you and where are you now are you lost in some way are you afraid to see him recently i visited an old lady she is in his 80s each time i visited her she tells me that how she spend time for prayer she pray a lot and every time she told me that she is okay with her life however i got to know from her family this is not real she got a lot of bitterness and she curse people so i asked her do you have anybody you have not yet forgive but she said no father i'm good i'm okay with everyone then i start asking how was your life with your husband 
because her husband already passed away and her face changed. She said, I will never forgive my husband. She left me and the children and have women outside. Even he once came to me and kneeled down, asked for forgiveness. I did not forgive him and I would never forgive him. You see, we like to bury our hatred, anger. We like to hide it. We do not want people to know all these happen in our life. Are you having this hatred, anger in your life? Do you refuse to forgive someone in your life? He might be your loved one, the closest one. He might be your parents, your siblings, your husband or your wife. Stop burying all this. Stop covering up. Stop pushing and running away from all these painful experience. Jesus knows your pain. Jesus understands what you have gone through. So I told the lady, you must forgive. You need to make a choice. You may not able to forgive. You need to make a decision. Forgive is a decision. Forgive is not a feeling. And I told her, you are old. You will not go to heaven if you do not forgive. Because heaven is love. God is love. In heaven, there is no unforgiveness. There is no place for hatred in heaven. I told her, stop looking at your hurt. But look at Jesus. You may not be able to forgive, but if you are willing, Jesus will help you to forgive. Jesus will do the rest. I told her to close the eye and imagine the time your husband kneel before you ask for forgiveness. And I asked her, look at Jesus. Look at Jesus and say, in Jesus' name, I forgive you so and so. She was struggling to say it out. However, at last, she say it out and she broke down in front of me. Imagine an 80 over years old old lady broke down like a child. It is only a choice. At the moment you decide to trust God, to let go, the same moment you will receive abundant blessing, peace, joy, and Jesus deliver you from all the bondage. Jesus said, we are so precious to the Father. Even all our hair are counted because we are all redeemed by the blood of His Son. We all are redeemed by a high price by Jesus. And the will of God is for all of us to be safe. Trust Him. Trust His love. He will never fail you. Stop looking at ourselves, our limitation. Allow Him to work in our life. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>